Hello everyone, my name is Takeo, and today I'm going to be giving you an updated look at my truck camper build. And I'll also be going over some of the areas I missed in my previous video. One of the things I added was carpet to the bed and the floor. I cut the carpet to size and then I use a 3M adhesive spray to hold it in place. From there, I took these screws with finishing washers and I drilled them down to prevent the edges from coming up. I added a piece of metal trim just to protect the bottom of the board from getting kicked and accidentally damaged. I also added a universal car mat so I can fit a few pairs of boots and shoes. For the material, I chose to go with an outdoor patio carpet because of its durability and weather resistance. If you look at my curtain rod design, you'll see that it's almost like a cage. The reason for this is because my Lear topper was bought new and drilling any holes into it would void the warranty. I used half inch copper pipe and minimum soldering to allow for the curtain rods to be removed if needed. The lower rods allow for the curtain to hug the wall. Hi guys, I'm Lindsay and I made Takeo's truck curtains. And when picking the fabric, we wanted to go with one that was thick enough to be able to block out all the light, which we chose by just taking like the phone and turning on our flashlights. I'm just showing it behind there, seeing how much light seeps through. And also so people wouldn't be able to see inside the truck to give privacy because privacy is important, kids. When sewing the curtains, I wanted to make sure that I left a three inch, three inches of the hem sticking up above the bars so we'd be able to tuck it in behind and create a light seal. So even less light will be able to seep in. And I wanted to leave about two inches uh, on the top and on the bottom for the rods to go in through. And that two inches allows the rods to slide along the bars very easily if we want to let in more light and then i made these couple little ties with some scrap fabric just so we could tie them along the curtains and keep them out of the way just like that here's a video with all the curtains closed just to demonstrate how little light can actually get through when all the curtains are closed and here is how bright the check can be with the curtains completely tied off. Something that I didn't show off in my first video was the back storage. Here it just lifts up. I put in old carpet that my parents had in the bottom there. Not a drawer, just uh, some additional storage space. Also I have a few more concealed compartments next to the wheel well. I didn't glue this portion of the carpet down, just so I could lift it up, have access. So that lays flat over top, and I have another one back here. Again, carpet's not glued down in this section, just for some more concealed storage. Two new additions to my truck camping setup are these two alarms right here. This is my carbon monoxide alarm for when I'm cooking inside and my motion sensor alarm for an additional layer of protection. I've used this before, like I've set it off and even me knowing it scared the living daylights out of me. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, this is all I have for now and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I want to give a shout out to Lindsay and my dad for all the hard work they put in with helping me complete this project. Till next time.